Hello, League of Shadows. I have a new episode reviewing an episode of Beware the Batman. This episode is episode 7, and it's called Family. Now, my reviews are brought to you by Primal Paper Comics. Uh, Red Knight. Red Knight and uh, The Ends are available on PrimalPaperComics.com. Go check them out. You can get either print or digital. Uh, link is up below. Now, uh, Cartoon Network had a rerun, I think, for the, what, a week or two or something like that, but now we're back to new episodes. Episode 7 just came out, and watching this episode, I now get that uh, the first seven episodes was essentially the opening story arc to the series, where we've kind of built and created sort of this Batman universe uh, and uh, this uh, grouping of uh, characters, uh, Batman, Alfred, um, Pennyworth. Alfred Pennyworth, da 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 da, and Katana, uh, which is interesting. It's an interesting choice, uh, as well as uh, the choice of uh, villains that we've seen so far. Some of the more obscure guys uh, and gals. Uh, now, of course, probably the biggest name of the villains uh, shows up in this episode. Uh, I'll get. I'll get to that. Uh, essentially, uh, Bruce Wayne is suckered by Dr. Ravencroft uh, into joining this. Uh, club or coming to see what the club is about that's been kind of bugging him to join all this time. And I actually, I didn't even catch this until uh, they showed this in the, the previously on Beware the Batman segment at the beginning, was uh, there is a, a, a quick moment, a throwaway in uh, an earlier episode where uh, the club's trying to uh, send him a membership and he's just like, eh, ah, throw it away. It's like, oh, wow, that's a really good foreshadowing. I didn't even even pick up on that. Um, that, you know, it was even anything important. So, anyway, he's brought in. At the same time, uh, Alfred confides in him that, um, Katana had stolen this sword that steals people's souls, and now the most dangerous people in the world are upset and trying to find her, as well as the CIA. Um... So, he gets mad, because they've been lying to him, uh, so he tells them, get out, vamoose. All right, now I'm going to go with uh, Ravencroft to this secret society and see what's going on. Oh, uh, and of course, it's a big trap. The, the idea was, these guys don't know who Bruce Wayne is. Uh, Silver Monkey and uh, Lady Shiva have no idea. Uh, they've accidentally capture Bruce Wayne to use him as bait to lure in uh, Katana. Uh, what ensues is a really cool uh, fight sequence. Uh, we watch uh, Lady Shiva for the first time. I believe the first time I've seen her uh, in an animated series. She did make a uh, brief cameo in one of those DC direct-to-video video, uh, movies, but uh, it wasn't a speaking role, and it was in the Public Enemy story where she was brainwashed, and you don't really see the real Katana, so, I don't know, it was okay. Uh, this one, uh, Silver Monkey is trying to betray her, and that really doesn't go too well. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, it ends uh, pretty satisfactory with, uh, obvious, uh, a new villain. Uh, and, of course, uh, Ra's al Ghul's name, his name dropped again, so we will most likely see him at, uh, at least maybe till, not until maybe the end of uh, this season. But, ugh, can't wait. Um, all right, now, quick thoughts. Uh, I, I thought it was a uh, enjoyable sum-up of uh, the first story. I'm kind of setting up the series. Uh, it really does make sense now that you look back at the last uh, few episodes and you see kind of a beginning, middle, and end of this story. Uh, so uh, now I presume the next few episodes we'll be watching Katana uh, go from being, like, you know, a CIA agent or something like that to a super-duper hero. So... Uh, I'm willing, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see her in costume, uh, I, I guess she'll be used, the, uh, uh, I believe, could, if I remember right, uh, Shiva got away with the sword or something like that, well, it was a big ass sword anyway, um, not really, it didn't really look right with her character design, but, um, yeah, I'm really interested to see how this team now works, now that, uh, everybody knows everybody's secrets, or at least, you know, the first few secrets that uh, all these characters seem to have. Um, the beginning level of secrets that Bruce, uh, Alfred Pennyworth, and uh, Katana all carry. Um, all right, now, 
Lady Shiva is actually one of my favorite villains in the Batman uh, universe. Uh, she is, for those of you who don't know, uh, uh, the leader of the League of Assassins or Shadows or whatever the hell it's called this month. Uh, it, it the name changes a lot, but it's pretty much a, uh, a ninja-like evil corporation um, that uh, you know works uh, its evil all over uh, the world. It's it's basically a little bit like uh, Marvel's uh, uh, the Hand, essentially. Uh, she is the best martial arts fighter in uh, the DC universe. Uh, that's before Cassandra Cain came into being. Now she's obviously probably not going to be in this universe, so. That means she is the best martial arts uh, fighter in this universe, even better than Batman. There's actually a uh, Batman story, um, uh, Death in the Family, is one of my favorite examples. Batman can't beat her one-on-one -on -one without cheating. He needs either his gadgets or someone, like one of his sidekicks, to help. Um, this happened time and time again. Uh, un unfortunately, I don't really see that uh, prowess uh, in... Uh, this appearance, it does seem like she kind of runs off uh, once she realizes she's outnumbered by one other person. Um, so, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really... They didn't really sell her being the, the ultimate um, fighter in, in this particular story. Although, her character, uh, I, I think, is, you know, right on the money. Uh, she's pretty... Uh, she's pretty evil and right to the point of what she wants and what she does. Uh, I do wonder if she's a little less Asian in this appearance. She looked a little white to me. Um, maybe that's just my... Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I just, you know, didn't get the character design as well. But she looks a little more white to me. And the, the actress I know is, uh, is white. By the way, the, actress, the voice actress uh, did a fantastic job uh, with the character. Very, very good. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. She just seemed a little uh, whitewashed to me. But that that may be just, I don't know. I, I may be wrong. Uh, maybe you can correct me, which I'm sure you would love to, in the comments below. Uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty satisfactory uh, conclusion to uh, the first seven episodes. Uh, I think it ties everything up really well. And I look forward to seeing the rest of the series. I will talk briefly about the Plastic Man short, uh, part of the DC Nation uh, shorts that came after the episode. It sucked. It was really bad. It was embarrassingly bad and not funny. Uh, there. That's all I have to say about it. Well, uh, I think that's it for now. Push the button, Lindsay.